Alrighty. Get back into this. So this is probably video seven, I think. Got the camper back in the garage after cleaning up a little. Don't really remember what I'm doing here. Probably figuring out the axle where I'm going to have, have the mounts at us or something. Or no, this is in prep. We're going to flip the camper. That's right. Yep, it's flipping the camper time. So doing this one wasn't that bad. When we flipped it back over when everything had been welded on, yeah, this this wasn't too bad, but uh, the women were certainly panicking really hard and freaking out, which made it very difficult. It was worse when we flipped it back over after adding on all the extra metal that we added on while it was upside down. Uh, but this allowed me to finish weld everything without crawling underneath it. And then this is where we start working on the, the tongue mounts. Right. So now I'm going to talk about that for a while. Mosquitoes come back out. Mosquitoes were a big problem at that time. But, so we took everything off the frame. Um, dismantled the axle, put it in the backyard. And we flipped the frame. That was a lot of fun. That was scary. Mm -hmm. I just so said that. It all flipped over, and now the task at hand is to figure out exactly the plan with the, the tongue. Keep debating back and forth if I should really make it removable or not, or just make it. Sure, why not? Let's do there. that. Skip over some more of there. Big stuff to do both sides. And then I need to cut these and angle these, and then I need to get a support under there and get a plate and get a plate on this end. Yep, sounds like a good plan. Why don't we get on that? Yep. And now we're getting on that. Looks like the neighbor's pruning his trees for once. Did a lot of thinking about about how I was going to do that with the steel I had. And this is some back and forth. Kind of just showing all the work it takes to do stuff like this. We made some progress today. Um, I finally decided to start cutting and fitting some pieces <clears throat> after mm -hmm. I got this flipper. But, yeah, oh, yeah, diamond plate. Needed some diamond plate. Back in cause, and they're already like. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know what happened with those gloves. I've got a hole in, in a couple places. I've got some of these punched out, punched out plates. Two, that's mm -hmm. three, and three, so that's all six. Okay. And just real. It's good. Good morning. Let's see what so I'm going to complain day. about now. So last night the neighbors were up blasting music till three in the morning. Oh, oh yeah. For them. Um, but in the interest of being a good neighbor, because it's still... Well, you're still not a good neighbor, but... About eight. Um, I'm going to drag the sawhorses in, put them about year, year. We're on. And, uh, drag that big heavy plate in here. Cut it up in here in the garage. Try to keep the noise level down a little bit. So, we're going to work on that now. Yeah, on second thought, I think I'm going to set up right here because that plate's really heavy. See, I told you I lied. I'm going to drag it all over the frame to get to it. So I'm going to set up right here. Yeah, this is where I wish I had a plasma cutter. 
if anybody wants to send me one, you know, feel free. And I got pretty tired of drilling holes. I did a lot of drilling holes for the for the front to make it removable. Oakley, Oakley, then. So I just got done drilling the holes for the diamond plate mount. Mm-hmm. Looks good. So the mount is pretty much ready to go, but I don't want to weld it on to the. A frame until I get some bolts and nuts. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the store, get some bolts and nuts, so that we can uh, mount these to the frame. And at that point, I can finish. There's an aerial plane. The A frame to make sure it doesn't twist before I weld it to these. So I'll weld it to the feet next, and then I'll weld these on. Well, I won't. I'll get the little tabs. Get the tabs and marked out where they need to go because I'm going to make some reinforcements for those. Right on. So Sounds like a good job. It's like a good plan. All right, so we got the hardware. Some uh, grade five bolts for the back. Some those are half inch, and then some grade eight five eighths for the the main strut going across. Guess how much that was? Fifty four dollars. Yep. Thanks, Biden. Yep. And that was, uh, I think that's it for this round. Yep. So, there you go. Part seven. Very exciting. Very exciting.